Deacon Bill Gray, and I'm the priest of the Anglican Parish of Bob Cajun, Dunsford, and Burnt River. I'm leading in the service of morning prayer for Sunday, May the 9th, 2021, the sixth Sunday of Easter. This is also Mother's Day weekend. We feature, as a special tribute to mothers, a special song by Erica Fleming, who is the granddaughter of Donna Fleming of Christ Church Bob Cajun. And she sings this special Mother's Day tribute. Our homiletic focus is on the 15th chapter of the Gospel of John, where Jesus invites us to move beyond servanthood to friends. And it is clear from our reading in the book of Acts that that friendship extends to all people, including the Gentiles. If you have this service printed at home, please follow along and join in the responses. As you can see, I'm leading in these Easter greetings from the sanctuary of St. Luke's Anglican Church in Burt River. Let us pray. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He gave us new life and hope by raising Jesus from the dead. Rejoice then, even in your distress. We shall be counted worthy when Christ appears. God has claimed us as his own. He called us from our darkness into the light of his day. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. reading from the book of Acts. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. 
The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? So he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. Hear what the Spirit is saying to us now. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another, as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servants does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commandments so that you may love one another. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. I'm here with my daughter Chelsea today and her daughter Audrey in order to help us celebrate Mother's Day. Many of our relationships in life are defined by particular roles. Those roles inevitably define the nature and boundaries of a particular relationship. Some examples of roles that are very familiar are teacher-student, employer-employee, priest-parishioner, seller-buyer, professional client, doctor-patient, and parent-child. The definition of these roles both enhance and limit the nature of these relationships. The defined role usually provides a particular benefit in the relationship, such as uh, with the teacher-student, the benefit is learning. Employee-employee, the benefit is employment and income. Priest-parishioner, the benefit is faith. Seller-buyer, the benefit is product purchase. Professional client, the benefit is a service provided. Doctor patient, the benefit is healing. Parent child, the benefit is nurture. Such defined roles also limit relationships by such things as an inevitable power imbalance. And there's an inequality that results due to the nature of the roles. Biblical stories often define the nature of first century relationships by contrasting the nature and boundaries of roles indicative of the time. Uh, such familiar biblical roles are Gentile Jew, 
master servant, saved lost, father son, governor citizen, shepherd sheep. In today's gospel reading from John 15, Jesus does something profound to overcome the limits of relationships that are defined by our roles. Jesus, as representative of our relationship with God, declares that we are no longer simply servants, but we are his friends. This is a radical redefinition of our relationship with God. By its very nature, our relationship with God is defined by a power imbalance. As the Messiah Jesus is our Savior, and we are the lost in need of saving. But by introducing the invitation to be friends, Jesus emphasizes again that he did not regard his divinity as something to be exploited, but he elected rather to become one with us. In this way, God can reach us in profound ways that might be impossible through only our traditional understandings of the role between the creator and the created. Similarly, today's reading from the book of Acts in chapter 10 demonstrates a similar redefinition of roles. Peter began his mission in the firm belief that the salvation afforded by the resurrected Jesus needed to be offered to the Hebrew people first and foremost. Yet as indicated, countless numbers of Gentiles continually demonstrated that they had been inspired by God's Spirit. They were convicted by faith in Jesus and they presented themselves for baptism. Peter redefined his role and his entire mission as being for the Gentiles as well as the Jews. This weekend we celebrate once again the important roles that mothers inhabit in family life. Mothers are by their role definition caregivers, teachers, mentors, nurturers, protectors, are roles which provide incredible opportunities to provide their children the gift of love. Other necessary roles of mother include such things as authority figures and one who helps to establish boundaries for their children. And this also speaks to the limits of their role for their families. Over time, it is possible that the role of mothers in the life of their family is redefined and renegotiated. It is possible and even necessary that as their children mature into adulthood, that parents and adult children redefine their relationship as friends and not simply as authority figures or boundary givers. I, for one, have never been content with the notion that my relationship with church members and the community can be totally defined by my role as parish priest. Like anyone, I desire to be seen as the person for whom I am, which includes many other roles such as husband, father, and neighbor. Dare I say it, in the spirit of the gospel, I am also a friend. This does not diminish the need to maintain appropriate boundaries and behaviors. As a parish priest, like any other role relationship, but it does imply that sometimes the nature of parish priest and parishioner needs to be renegotiated so that we see each other as persons, children of God, and not simply in roles of authority or servant. It is profound that in today's gospel, Jesus redefined our relationship to God as friend. This challenges us to renegotiate our relationship to God from that of dependent children 
to taking charge of the direction of our own spiritual journey. Perhaps God is calling us to grow up and change our understanding of many traditional roles that may no longer work or be appropriate. Are we willing to step beyond the roles of dependency and authority and servanthood? Are we willing to be mature enough to step forward and call God as our friend? And in our roles with each other, are we able to move beyond mother and child and other similar defined roles and seek out the limitlessness of friendship. Amen. On this Mother's Day weekend, we remember that most celebrated of mothers, Mary, the mother of Jesus, the mother of our Lord and the mother of our church. I'm leading these intercessory prayers from the Church of St. John the Evangelist and adjacent 
to this beautiful stained glass window that depicts the image of mother and child, Mother Mary with her baby Jesus. The response to each petition in our prayers is, Hear us, Lord of glory. In joy and hope, let us pray to the source of all life, saying, Hear us, Lord of glory. That our risen Savior may fill us with the joy of his holy and life-giving resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory that he may reveal the light of his presence to those we name in our hearts. And to all the sick, especially for Rose Hallowell, Joe Hancock, Doreen Lewis, Thelma Martin, Paul Baxter, Marie Barker, Joan Bolton, and Ruth Gibson, that they may be comforted and strengthened let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the Easter gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory that he may provide for those who lack food, work, or shelter, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That by his power, wars and famine may cease through all the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. For those who grieve, especially remembering those that have died, Stan Potts, Carol Vellat, Audrey Price, Ruth and Tammy Shepherd, Miriam Newhook, Jeff Tomlinson, Bob Morris, Hap Lafferty, Beatrice Armbrecht, and Darwin German. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon us and upon our bishops, Andrew and Rosilla. And I ask prayers for myself and my ministry among you and upon all his people. That we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Anglican Church of Kenya. In the diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for Oshawa Deanery. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. On this Mother's Day weekend, we pray for mothers both living or deceased and remembered. We give thanks for the mother of our Lord and of her faithfulness to her son, even through his passion and crucifixion, until at last she was rewarded by the presence of his resurrection. In thanksgiving for the blessing that mothers are to all families, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. For those in government, public health, frontline care, health care, hospitals, care homes, ICU care, armed forces, personal service workers, community caregivers, essential services, emergency services, vaccine administration, retail services, and others, that they may be kept safe well, strengthened and sustained, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. We pray for those in government and public health institutions who are reviewing the capacity and staffing 
of such public institutions as senior care homes, hospitals, and ICU beds in order to direct, address and correct the deficiencies exposed by the COVID-19 illnesses and fatalities. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. Now I invite you to listen in prayer as I lead in the collect for the sixth Sunday of Easter. Merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you riches beyond imagination. Pour into our hearts such love toward you that we, loving you above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we too are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.